Back to the channel, everybody. My name is Johnny Lee. This is another Helix video, and shock horror today. I'm using a Les Paul. Um, I, yeah, I mean they're okay. They're okay. I'm still not a massive fan. Um, let me explain what's going on over the next two days. On Friday, I am heading out to New York. Uh, so I'm going to cram these like next couple of videos in. What I'm doing is I'm just kind of reinventing some of the stuff that I've already done. Uh, they haven't touched for a while and kind of played around with some stuff. So one of the amps that kind of just went under the radar on the last update was the Elmsley amp. Uh, I was using this the other day. I needed it for a rhythmy patch, not necessarily like a screaming lead, which is what I normally do because um, I'm just a creature of habit. Uh, so this is just one snapshot, which is kind of washy clean, and one which is a little bit of a lead uh, snapshot, but it's not like massively overdriven, and it just suits the Les Paul far better than the Strat, for whatever reason. So let's quickly take a look at an amp, because I want to tie this one up quite quick. Uh, for the washy verb, there's just, you know, not a lot going on, I mean, I've, the drive's on five. Uh, I took the hull and the ripple off and I've dropped the sag. In between the amp and cab is the kinky boost. There is no other reverb in between there. The reason for that is it's, this is quite reverb heavy further down the line. And the four by 12 moon. And then we've got the searchlights. This is in a stereo patch as well. Uh, there's quite a lot on this snapshot of reverb. Transistor tape. Um, which is 336 milliseconds and I've upped the headroom just to get rid of that like clippity clippity sound and then the tile on the end and at the front of that for the lead snapshot or the you know the overdriven snapshot is actually the horizon drive and I've done some stuff to that so I'll go over that in just one second uh, here is your nice ambient first snapshot <laughs> It's nice, it's beautiful, just like my fucking face. Uh, the lead, what happens then is, is that the Horizon Drive, bit of a weird selection for an overdrive pedal, especially for this amp, uh, but it's it's powerful, it does its job, it gives a little bit of something that goes ignored a lot of the time, because I think most of the time the Horizon Drive is going to get used for, you know, that metal. Uh, so what I've done is I've pretty much shut the gate off because it's not ridiculous i've got the noise input gate on and that kind of just takes care of all the shittery uh the attack is left where it was kind of standard and then i've lowered the drive to 2.4 and that's kind of all that i've done to be honest drive goes up on the amp a little bit and obviously then the searchlight reverb that will drop right down to 14% because you just don't need all of that. And like you say, it's more of a rhythmy, riffy kind of uh, snapshot than it is a screaming lead. <laughs>
if we get into the neck pickup. So there you have it. Uh, that is actually your patch for today. Uh, I, I would gig with that. I mean, obviously, keep an eye on how much reverb is on the washy uh, snapshot because there is a there is a lot there is a lot on there. Uh, so drop it down a little bit if you're going live. It's in stereo, so remember that as well. Or just you know, take it and completely change all of my shit. Uh, I will hopefully see you tomorrow for a little bit more. Take it easy now. <laughs>